the red-haired man, who was the vice president of the Blazing Fire Guild, punched Leon in the face with full force, creating a shockwave behind him. However, when the red-haired guy saw that his punch hadn't done any damage to Leon, he was shocked. Leon hadn't even dodged the attack and mockingly asked him why his hits were so weak, asking if he needed to order some takeout for him. The red-haired guy was surprised because he had used 80% of his strength in that punch, and he still couldn't break through Leon's defense. When Leon taunted him, the red-haired guy became angry and used his seven killing fists technique to attack Leon, hitting him continuously without giving him any chance to react. Zuo Yu shouted at Leon to dodge, while other members of the Blazing Fire Guild laughed, saying, this kid is dead for sure. Not even physical trainers at the same level can withstand our vice president's seven killing fists. Despite the continuous assault, Leon stood still, not dodging any of the red-haired guy's attacks. The red-haired guy was shocked because even his moves didn't hurt Leon. He wondered what kind of terrifying defense Leon had. When Yang Shi saw that the red-haired guy, who had defeated all of them, could not do anything against Leon, he realized that his brother had become even stronger. The members of the Blazing Fire Guild were very shocked, asking how this was happening since their vice president's seven killing fists hadn't affected Leon at all. The blonde-haired president of the Blazing Fire Guild, who was also watching their fight, noticed that Leon was still standing unscratched. Leon laughed and asked the red-haired guy if he was done. He then warned the red-haired guy to be ready, because now it was his turn to attack. Suddenly, Leon got into position and made a fist to punch the red-haired guy. Seeing this, the red-haired guy got scared and tried to defend himself, but suddenly his teammates shouted from behind, encouraging him, Vice President, that guy's defense is off the charts, so his attack must be weak. Don't let him scare you. Hearing this, the red-haired guy became confident, and, instead of defending, prepared his fist to punch Leon, saying, You almost had me fooled there. There's no way your attack power is as terrifying as your defense, he shouted, challenging Leon to bring it on. Leon also gathered all his energy in his fist to attack. When both Leon and the red-haired guy's fists collided, Leon's punch was the strongest, sending the red-haired guy flying and hitting the ground. It was a critical hit dealing 22,000 damage. The red-haired guy's elbow broke, and he lost consciousness. Leon approached the downed red-haired boy and said, These young people today are so stubborn. No respect for their elders. Seeing their vice president defeated, all the members of the Blazing Fire Guild got very angry and charged towards Leon screaming, You brat! You wanna die? Everyone get him! But suddenly, the president of the Blazing Fire Guild entered the battlefield and asked his guild members to stop. He told them that they were no match for Leon. Hearing this, all the guild members backed off. The blonde-haired president approached Leon with a smile, his aura completely different. Seeing his aura, Leon realized that he was at least at the mid-stage. The blonde guy introduced himself as Luto, and asked Leon if he was the leader of the Killing God Guild. Before Leon could answer, Ma Fei claimed from behind that he was the real guild leader since he came up with the name, Killing God Guild. However, Luto completely ignored Ma Fei and presented a deal to Leon saying, Let's end this fight between you and me. The loser's side will surrender and pay honor points, so we don't all end up ruining each other. Zuo Yu was surprised to hear that and said, What kind of crap is this? You are a mid-stage, challenging an early stage, and you are okay with that? Your face is thicker than Yang Xiangdi's belly. Luto didn't pay any attention to her, and directly asked Leon what he thought. Leon smiled and told Luto that he was fine with it. Just as Leon accepted the challenge, Luto immediately lunged to attack, aiming a punch straight at Leon's head. Leon covered his face with his hands to defend himself. From Ludo's straightforward approach, Leon deduced that Ludo was a mid-stage physical trainer. But suddenly, Ludo pulled out a red dagger and swung at Leon without giving him any chance to react. Leon moved back slightly, but couldn't completely dodge Ludo's dagger. His eyes were injured from the attack, and Leon hadn't expected Ludo to be an assassin with a poison dagger, impairing his vision. Leon immediately backed off to put some distance between him and Luto. Seeing Luto use a dagger, Zuo Yu shouted, Despicable you lowlife, a mid-stage fighting an early stage, and you still resort to hidden weapons? Do you have no shame? Ludo licked his dagger and retorted that the goal of combat is to win. Any method is just a means to that end. There's no such thing as hidden or not hidden. If one got hit, it means they were careless. Now, with Leon unable to see, Ludo used this opportunity to get close and unleashed his Gale Fist skill, punching Leon full force in the chest and continuing to pummel him without stopping. Yang Shi and the others were shocked to see Leon getting beaten. Leon could only defend somewhat with his hands, but because he couldn't see, it was no use. Ludo again took out his dagger and lunged at Leon to end it in one go, aiming for Leon's head. But suddenly, 
a light appeared in front of Leon and stopped Ludo's dagger. Ludo used all his power to push his dagger, but it couldn't reach Leon because of that light. Ludo was confused about why his dagger couldn't reach Leon. Suddenly, a hand emerged from the light and pushed Ludo's dagger, sending him flying. He stopped himself before hitting the wall behind. Everyone was surprised, asking what had just happened. Ludo was the most surprised, thinking, what was that thing? My health dropped to half instantly. The hand that pushed Luto and helped Leon belonged to the mechanical empress. She cautioned Leon to be careful, and he thanked her. Scared and angry, Luto turned around, admitting defeat for today. But just as he took a step, a notification came that the corpse ancestor's ring had activated. Leon used the corpse ancestor's ring to steal half of Luto's agility and said, You hurt my friend, and now you think you can just admit defeat and walk away? It's not that easy. Saying that Leon, now faster due to stealing Ludo's agility, jumped to attack him. As Ludo turned around to confront Leon, Leon was already behind him and punched him in the face, sending Ludo flying after the hit. Members of the Blazing Fire Guild were shocked to see their president Ludo so enraged. He stood up saying, You little punk! You're really pushing it! Ludo noticed that the strange protection from before which had shielded Leon was gone. He thought that using that move took a heavy toll on Leon. Deciding to use another hidden weapon, Ludo got close to Leon and spat three needles at him from his mouth. As the three needles approached, Leon used his hands to destroy them. But suddenly, the hand with which he touched the needles went numb. Leon realized that Luto had poisoned him. Angry, Leon jumped and kicked Ludo in the face, followed by a punch to the face. Frustrated, Ludo thought, I'm a mid-stage player. How could I be humiliated like this by an early-stage kid? He used his Gale Fist skill again to attack Leon. Leon was pushed back, and when there was some distance between them, Ludo threw hundreds of poisonous needles at Leon. Leon crouched and dodged those needles, but Ludo didn't stop there and threw more needles into the sky. Leon looked up and saw hundreds of needles falling. With no choice left, Leon used his hands again to defend against the incoming needles. While Leon was busy dealing with the needles, Ludo used another skill called Insight Bind. Dark energy enveloped Leon, immobilizing him. Ludo laughed and said, Evil will always triumph over good. He told Leon that once hit by his insight bind, any warrior type player loses their ability to move, becoming nothing more than a helpless sheep for him to slaughter. Approaching Leon while laughing, Ludo taunted, Leon, you almost had me fooled. How does it feel, punk? How does it feel to be completely immobilized? He slapped Leon, mocking, Kid, weren't you acting all tough a moment ago? Come on, keep it up. Let's see how tough you are now. Seeing that Leon could not do anything, Members of the Blazing Fire Guild started laughing at him. One guy praised President Ludo as awesome, and another called Leon an idiot, asking others to look at him and saying, Did he really think an early stage player could beat a mid stage one? So naive. Zuo Yu was shocked to see Leon losing, and Yang Shi wondered if his brother Leon could really lose. Ludo complimented Leon, saying he was the strongest early stage player he had ever met, but too bad Leon was still too young. While making fun and taunting Leon, suddenly Leon said something. Surprised, Ludo asked him what he had said. Leon asked Ludo if he had ever considered that he might not be a warrior at all. Ludo was shocked as he hadn't thought of that, but then he remembered Leon's punch. Laughing, he said, Punk, you almost tricked me. With your attack and defense, how could you not be a warrior? He gathered all his energy to attack Leon, saying, No point in talking anymore, just die. He aimed at Leon's face and threw a punch. Members of the Blazing Fire Guild laughed at Leon, saying, No matter how talented you are, you're still going down to our boss. How dare you go up against the Blazing Fire Guild? Zuo Yao and Yang Shi screamed for Leon. Ludo smiled, thinking that with this attack he would end the fight. But Leon stopped Ludo's attack with just one hand and said, Ludo, I told you I'm not a warrior. Why won't you believe me? But now I've got you. Ludo was shocked, wondering how this was possible. 